I'm Caroline Day, the counselor at Mentone Elementary School. Mentone Elementary is a wonderful place to work. I get to work with great staff, great students, and great families. Um, something we've done a little bit differently this year is we've partnered with Midwest Spring, a company here in town. Um, one of their owners asked to be a mentor for one of our students. And so from that, we have probably six or seven of our students that are then mentored by employees. So they come once a week, they give an hour of their time, and they really make a difference in the lives of our students. Sure, um, I feel incredibly blessed. I have a wonderful family, a wonderful husband, lots of great friends. Um, the holidays are always a lot of fun because we spend a lot of time together, and so I feel very lucky in that way. Um, like I said, we have an incredibly supportive staff. Um, I've seen that this year probably more than ever, and I'm really impressed with people's willingness to give of themselves, of their time, um, of their resources, and so it's just, we're really lucky to have each other here at Mentone. My name is Devin Boggs, and I'm in Mr. Early's class, and I go to Mentone Elementary School. I'm thankful for um, that since our school is like smaller than some, that um, like some kids get more focused on by the teachers and stuff. So I'm thankful for that. With my family, I'm thankful for. Um, having a younger sister to play with if we ever play with like my dogs or we'll play outside and stuff together. Um, I'm thankful for um, having like different specials and for a Project Lead the Way because in Project Lead the Way you get to um, learn coding and um, and maybe some robotics. It's really fun, and I'm thankful for the sub, um, like the specials, because you kids can learn art, music. Um, they'll um, they get a huge selection of books to pick out of, and then you'll you'll learn some computer stuff. My name is Cade Francis, and and I'm in fourth grade and my teacher is Miss Beachy and I'm in and I go to Mentone Elementary School. Um, Mr. Doms because he's a great principal and he always talks to the students. I'm thankful for my new house I got. I'm thankful for that all my friends are nice to me. So my name is Lacey Jones and I am a teacher for Tippecanoe Valley School Corporation. More specifically, I teach at Mentone Elementary School where I'm a special needs educator and I've been here for 14 years. My story this year is a little different. I am the mom of Kate Jones and he's a preschooler here at Mentone Elementary School through Mentone Readiness Center. My son, a couple months ago, woke up one day, came to school and didn't feel good. I have four children total I've been a teacher for a while, so I kind of know what it looks like when a kid's sick, and we simply thought he was sick. My story is kind of long, but at the end, I am beyond thankful to live in a community and to work for a corporation who, at the end of the day, cares not only about my son because he's a student here, but values me as an employee here. My son has had a long road and he has a very long road ahead of him. We're still quite not sure what he has, but after living in a hospital, multiple hospitals for over 25 days, we think we're on the right track. We were at Woodlawn Hospital for 38 days, excuse me, and then we went down to Riley's for 13 days the first time. He was diagnosed, even though he never tested positive, for transverse mellitus, encephalitis, and viral meningitis. During that 13 hospital stay, he actually went paralyzed. And while I don't want to publicize my story, my goal for talking to you today is to tell you that mankind And this community and my story has what's pulled my family along through my biggest storm. And I've got some great anchors. 
through my church, through my family, and through my friends. So this Thanksgiving, my heart is overjoyed through the thankfulness. My son got sent back after 24 days to Riley's again. He actually came out of his paralyzation and we almost lost him the first day. He woke up one day on his way to school and at five years old he told me, Mom, I can't see today. So we went back down to Riley's where they did another in a very intense treatment and his body responded and by day three of the five-day treatment he was able to see. He is able to walk, he is able to talk, and he is able to see, and he has most of those abilities back by 80 or 90 percent. He receives intense OT and PT and speech for his word processing. But we will be going back every month for six months to a year. Hopefully we have a diagnosis now. We're still waiting on Mayo to hear get the diagnosis back, but I cannot express to you what this community and the, what this corporation has done. The first time we were gone, I had an outpouring of help from my colleagues here at school. Um, my husband also works at the high school. He had tremendous help from them as well. They helped us take care of our three daughters by providing meals to their grandparents by making sure that my girls were still actively involved in school. My eldest daughter plays volleyball. A lot of her teachers came to watch her play those games since my husband and I could not always be at the games. Um, a bus driver here started a movement called Hashtag Kate Strong and shirts were created. Those shirts, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen in our community, are Cade's favorite colors, orange and blue. And if you know anything about my son, you know that farming is his biggest dream. So they have tractors on them. The money from those shirts has helped pay for some of our costly medical bills. And for that, I'm thankful. The second time we went down to Riley's and everyone asked me what I needed, my response is to pray because at the end of the day, that's what I need. So this time around, the office staff here at Mentone came up with mud love bracelets that simply say pray on them. And those have also been used as a fundraiser and they're kind of a dual fundraiser for every bracelet that is bought. I believe so many gallons of water is purchased from a third world country and then also those proceeds also, those benefits also help my son as well. So at the end of the day, what am I most thankful for? I'm thankful to live and work in a community that not only values education, but values people as individuals. Because at the end of the day, mankind and humans is what matters.